Greetings, everyone from AARP Long Island. I'm so happy to be here virtually with all of you. My name is Bernard Macias, Associate State Director for AARP on Long Island. And on behalf of AARP, welcome to Forever Young. AARP is a nonprofit, nonpartisan membership organization for people age 50 and older. There are 38 million members nationally, approximately 2.5 million in New York State and about 500,000 living right here on Long Island. AARP works to strengthen age-friendly communities and make for a happier, healthier residents of all ages. And we advocate for what matters most to people 50 and over and their families with a special focus on health security, financial stability, and personal fulfillment. Building on the success of last year's 2020 Art at 50 Plus New Beginnings, Islip Arts and AARP Long Island created a robust offering of not one, but two virtual art shows and a nine month series of master online art and music classes. As part of AARP's effort to disrupt aging by dispelling negative stereotypes and bias, this art exhibit and our classes encourages statewide New York based artists 50 or older to engage through art and lifelong learning. This marks our fifth annual event for AARP Long Island. And I want to thank our friends at Islip Arts, Linda, Christine, Waldo, and of course, Holly, for their hard work and beautiful vision. This virtual art exhibit is both intimate and personal and raises a bar for future virtual art exhibits of its kind. Please enjoy today's presentation. Know that every day brings an opportunity to connect with your community and with one another and to stay forever young. To learn more about other online classes, events, local discounts and volunteer opportunities and more, please visit us at aarp.org backslash near you. Forever Young. The second virtual art exhibition AARP has sponsored with Islip Arts Council proves that lightning can strike twice and boy, oh boy, the sparks are flying. Firstly, our trailblazing 2020 New Beginnings exhibit has recently won a Long Island Press Award. And here we are introducing the 2021 Knockout Forever Young. I believe that adults 50 plus are society's greatest asset. It is our ability to look back on life experiences as we move forward. This patina of time gives depth to our vision, substance to our voices, and verb to our creativity. Art is a powerful force that energizes, infuses, incites, and inspires. The dynamics of the unknown are powerful forces that influence and challenge our actions. It is you, the people out there, who responded to the challenges of this open call. And I took my lead from you. This exhibition grew from nearly 200 submissions that were woven together into a cohesive unit, like a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle with no picture on the box top that illustrates the finished product. I selected pieces to fit and then turned the results over to Waldo Cabrera, whose videography expertise created this visual production. Forever Young exemplifies that art is a wonder drug that can't be overdosed and needs no prescription. A hearty thanks to AARP New York and Bernard Macias, Associate State Director, AARP Long Island, for supporting this exhibition. Please share this video and subscribe to the Islip Arts Live YouTube channel so that this Forever Young exhibition will inspire forever.
imagine if I really posed for Picasso, I'd be hanging in a museum young forever. Here's a quote from my favorite Bob Dylan song, Forever Young. May your hands always be busy. May your feet always be swift. May you have a strong foundation when the winds of changes shift. May your heart always be joyful. May your song always be sung. May you stay forever young. <laughs> My artwork on the edge represents what we have lived through in the last year. We see how vulnerable we are to the influences of life in general and to COVID in particular. Although we seem to be living on the edge, that does give us the advantage in terms of how we feel internally. It gives us the spirit to survive, to go ahead, to continue creating art and a forever forward thinking or youthful attitude. Whatever age I am, I will always have the heart of a child and see the world with eyes of wonder. Inspired by childhood dreams, I'm fascinated by the idea of creating still lifes that are not so still. Maybe it's the desire to be free of gravity. I paint objects flying, floating, or falling through space. In Free For All, I include antique and ethnic toys, which represent joy and abandon and suggest another time and place. When I think of the term forever young, I associate it with freedom, joy, strength, exuberance, and playfulness. I feel that summer, which is also the name of the model in this work, represents all of these things. Summer is a highly realistic acrylic and colored pencil piece. The flighty hair is uplifting and the interaction with the bird playful. Her expression is that of joy and she appears timelessly strong and free. Day cream, eye cream, night cream, they all come with the promise to keep your skin wrinkle-free and forever young. Ever since my early 20s, makeup and skincare has been as routine for me as brushing my teeth. Nowadays, the mirror shows wrinkles that makeup can't hide. Yet, I'm still young with ideas, imagination, energy, and the drive to make art. I read that a lot of women were choosing to have procedures coming out of quarantine, maybe from seeing themselves during Zoom and feeling critical about their looks. I feel ambiguous about this, but after being quarantined, I think you should do whatever you want to make you feel forever young. Heavy lifting depicts many of us trying to refresh, renew, and have a new start after a difficult year. The Birth of Stars is from my recent series of abstract paintings titles Beginning, which is inspired by my fascination with the night sky, oceans, coastlines, gardens, and the beautiful universe in which we are all a part of. As I look skyward, I listen to the music of the stars in these trying times. The comfort of the vast universe puts all things in perspective and I feel forever young. The longer I live, the more I appreciate feeling really at home in my own artistic skin, and that keeps me feeling forever young. I enjoy working in my studio and breaking lots of rules. Half Moon Bay is composed of antique tile bands that I have collected. These bands have color and pattern, so they are fun and challenging to reglaze, and in doing so, I discover interesting and new color combinations. COVID-19 interfered with our 50th wedding anniversary, we took our celebration to new heights. With propane flames helping to fill the hot air balloon, we soared serenely over mountains, farms, and forests, barely hearing grandchildren screaming below, happy anniversary. The pilot steadily directed the balloon over a lake when I was able to cautiously lean over the side and photograph our reflection on the water. Forever young and adventurous? Absolutely. The title of this work is I Was So Much Older Then, I'm Younger Than That Now. My work 
illustrates these song lyrics by showing a little girl letting go of a balloon. To me, letting go means opening yourself up to new technologies and different forms of communications. Being willing to try new art techniques and the curiosity to learn is what keeps me forever young and creating art is what gives my life joy. Haven't we all felt the need for sheltering during this last year? Sheltering in place can be isolating, yet also allows for a quiet, welcome, and unexpected environment for personal creativity. This piece and its spring symbolism reflects the rebirth that many of us hope that in some small way our world will be returned to us again. I know during this last year, art has stoked the fires of youth and rekindled my anticipation of traveling future creative paths. May I introduce you to Mr. Fred Frog. I did the watercolor and then collage the bouquet of flowers. This piece makes me smile. I think one must always maintain a sense of humor in life if one wishes to remain forever young. I created this piece from the original watercolor of John William Waterhouse, 1908. I chose this piece because I was moved by the beauty of timelessness. For me, Forever Young isn't about youth or age. It's about growth, wisdom with grace, learning from your mistakes, and keeping the garden door always open. We are never too old to learn, to change, and to try new things. May we always be forever young. In creating the composition, I placed my mother's image in a garden setting. Searching for a stock image of a pot of flowers for her to hold, I paid no attention to the name of the flowers. When the preliminary drawing was completed, I noticed on my computer desktop the name below the JPEG of the flowers, forget-me-nots. My mother died in 1986, but the message of the flowers assured me that she is forever young. A painting called One Night in September 1989 stirs youthful feelings of my relationship with my creative daughter Kelly. One night in September when she was five, we laid on our living room floor and using colored pencils, we drew a fun design on a large piece of cardboard. Three years ago when Kelly was 34, I found it in my backyard shed, had it imaged onto canvas and I painted over our design, matching it and bringing back our youth. My 28 by 24 mixed media piece on plywood called Efflorescence of Childhood has opened the door to memories of my mother, holding them safe on a devotional altar of sorts in surrealistic relief woven into my painted photographic and pencil drawn personal iconographic images and collage poems in both English and Italian. Memories of figs, dandelion greens and fish Fridays keep her eternally vibrant. I'm grateful for this exhibit because it helped me preserve my mother's vitality forever. Grazie. After my mother passed away in 2019, I drove past my childhood home, the house where my mother and father raised me, my brother, and my sister. We moved in when I was five, and I lived there until the day I was married. I have a faint memory of standing in front of the driveway gate, waiting for my mother to take me to the first day of school. That memory was the inspiration for the painting. Amy Winehouse died at the age of 27, but will forever be remembered as an old soul who will remain forever young. She passed away too soon, but lived her life to the fullest, giving us all her gift of soulful music. We need to all live our lives to the fullest every day and embrace the time is precious and truly a gift from God and stay forever young. Dear friends, forever young is not a myth, but is it a thought, a wish, an unattainable dream or just wishful thinking? Or is it all or none of that? Forever young is to be left to each one of us to choose a meaning. 
In this work, an anthology of colors between the green, below pink and red, they whisper the secrets not spoken. Look and then listen carefully. <laughs> They say children keep you young. After being retired and becoming sort of a designated child caregiver over the past several years, I find this to be very true. I also find that capturing these smiling, rambunctious, and mischievous little sisters in drawings do the same. I feel forever young. Every time I paint a child's portrait, the ticket was painted in the village of Cholet, France at Christmas. I was mesmerized by the wonder of the antique carousel and vintage animals, heightened by the beautiful child, donned in a ruby red coat and hat, riding a huge white rabbit. My painting, Music is like a rainbow, makes me feel forever young because the notes I hear become colors and colors are not time bound. So, as long as I can keep on creating art, my life force will always be forever young. Couples enjoying an evening of live music, romantic, Add that they are sitting at an outdoor cafe in St. Mark's Square in Venice, listening to Italian music. Well, that just adds to the experience. When I see an image like this, it does make me feel young. And I'd imagine the couple, no matter their age, sitting there feels young too. Any part of it, the couple sitting close, the cafe outside, the music, Venice, Italy, it all works towards feeling young. Dancing the Night Away was created during the COVID-19 lockdown. It's about floating within one's head with the full vigor of youth, about the daily aloneness separated from the normal human interaction during the pandemic. It is through a sense of awareness that I experience the music of my art. When splurging in its sound, I become that Beethoven to return its evolving echo, making impressions into one symphony. There is no ego intruding into that birth of pure energy, and this makes me feel forever young. Dancing Fools is my forever young. Having been a trained ballet and professional dancer, Dancing lives in my heart daily. I don't think there is anything more satisfying than moving to wonderful music, even if you can only sit in a chair and tap your feet. Dance is such an early form of communicating, allowing you to express all levels of feeling without using a word. Expressing those feelings through painting has enhanced my connection to dance. I have loved trapeze since I was a child in Ohio. At my request, my father built me one in our backyard, and I spent years swinging on my bar. This aerial pause depicted in my painting is about relationship, faith, and trust. But painting this moment brings memories of joyful childhood play and the knowledge that youth always lives within us. This submission reminds me of a Parisian work of art, colorful although reflective of time. It transports me to a Parisian cafe with joyous shape, line, color, and design in contrast to the mood and despair of COVID times. Collage has allowed me to wander in a spontaneous musical way. Forever young is the brightness of lively presence and celebration in this mixed media piece. Dancer is an expression of youth, part of my spirit. My brushstrokes of color have externalized my feelings of youth, formalizing and giving them structure and form. 
They portray a woman waiting and longing to be twirled across the Copa's dance floor. Today, listening to the rhythms of the clave and congas, my hips start to sway, twirling around my kitchen floor, forever young. The model was completely lost in thought, building castles in the air, daydreaming. I think that as long as we can dream, we will be forever young. My artwork reflects fragments of what my life was and where I see it going. This painting always depicts a gentleness and simplicity that's endless. The woman's beauty shows in her arched back, allowing one's eyes to view the flowing gown compared to the clear-cut shadows in her arms and upper torso. It portrays a life having no time limits or boundaries. When creating, I attempt to show vitality and enthusiasm conveying life's continuity. I painted Prancing Cow to express the joy of life that keeps me forever young. The prancing cow is seen romping through a field of flowers. She is no longer young, beautiful, or even graceful. This doesn't stop her. She's still full of vigor and zest for life. Nothing will stop her from experiencing each day as a new day to be savored and enjoyed. We town and city people tend to view cows as interchangeable. In this time of pandemic, we speak casually of herd immunity, as though humans too are alike. Though I came upon these three Herefords together in their summer pasture, it was instantly clear to me that only one was curious about my presence. And so it is these days with my own herd. I'm drawn to those who also like to inquire into the possibilities of the moment. <laughs> I've always loved the circus and street performers, maybe because I've always been in awe of their talents and their beautiful costumes they get to wear. When I was a child, I loved the spring when Ringling Brothers and Bartram and Bailey Circus would come to New York. The excitement of the animals and the acrobats continued to make me feel like a child inside. Upon retiring, I was able to fulfill my lifelong passion to become an artist, following in my grandfather's footsteps. I am improving and having fun every day. As I was painting this Mardi Gras mask, it made me reminisce about the excitement and the fun-filled days at the Mardi Gras festivals in New Orleans. And that keeps me forever young. I have been wearing sneakers, all styles of sneakers my whole life, and I still do. But my all-time favorites are my high tops. Since I was a child, I must have had every color made from white, black, yellow, blue, and red. I loved them all. Being an artist, I'm often inspired by my surroundings and my everyday life. And one result of this is my painting of my favorite red sneakers. Fairy tales are forever young. They're never getting old because everything old will be new again and stories are still relevant. And so should we. Stay young at heart and mind, even if you are 50 plus. Ah, the playground. Memories of younger, carefree days in a world that seems so small and innocent, not knowing what lies ahead or where the roads of life would lead us. From the swings to the slide, there was laughter from inside. Tag your it, or duck duck goose, you better sit. As the sun set upon the scene, I couldn't help but smile, thinking of my childhood friends and thoughts of being forever young. There is simply something about having an ice cream cone with a friend in the summer that transports us back to the carefree days of childhood. These two ladies were enjoying their treats and also catching up on some juicy gossip on the day I observed them. I felt that this was one of those forever young moments and decided it would make a good future painting subject. 
The title refers to both the ice cream and their animated conversation. This is a painting of my dad from a photograph that I took of him enjoying an ice cream cone at the mall. It depicts his delight in the simple pleasure of eating ice cream, a feeling that a person at any age can savor. At 91 years old, it reminds us there will always be a kid in all of us, forever young. Still Dreaming was painted from imagination after observing many retired people meeting in small groups each day at a park, apparently with old friends. I feel these people are extremely fortunate having friends from long ago. Maintaining long-term friendships, I believe, keeps people young, and many of these people are able to hold on to their dreams for a long time. After I retired, I started doing these portraits as a parody of my friends who are moving to Florida to stay active in the winter. I laugh as I paint these caricatures and then amused with the subjects and funny stories I hope they portray. For me, creating art is what keeps me vital and the process of painting keeps me forever young. The main focus of my work is ocean art, and the medium is acrylic on canvas. The work is inspired by my love of the ocean. I'm lifted by the colors, the ebb and flow of the tide, and the sand between my toes. Splash dreams as the tide rushes over you and washes all the troubles away. Hope is renewed to rejoice in a new beginning of a new day. A great source for this work has come from childhood lessons learned and disabilities overcome through understanding the magical journey that develops a person. Here are five childhood friends at the beach moving together from the grass toward the sand. Their vitality, humor, disappointment, tolerance, and joy in each other has continued throughout their adult lives. They are, as I hope to be, forever young. We may not be able to stay forever young physically, but we can determine how our thoughts and attitudes remain vibrant. Staying forever young is continuing to be curious about the world around us, learning new skills, and embracing each day as an opportunity to cultivate a positive mindset. My mixed media piece, Baptism, represents rebirth. Regardless of a chronological age, we need to thrive in a changing world. Experience is the springboard to growth. Baby Climb, a print that I drew and colored in Photoshop, depicts somewhat humorously a literal merging of me as an old woman and me as an infant just beginning her life. The memories I have of decades past are re-emerging with increasing frequency. As a result, I'm realizing that I have not changed all that much from my younger selves. One advantage of being an artist is that it can keep you in touch with what's happening in our contemporary culture. It's a way to connect to the world at large in a direct and visceral way. This connection is one that young people have naturally. My painting Emerging came directly from a feeling that the fog of COVID is lifting, suggesting hopefulness and optimism. These are youthful feelings, allowing me to feel that my work keeps me forever young. As the cliché goes, age is only a number. No matter how young or old we are, what matters is how old or young we feel and act in our hearts and minds. This photograph of my friend Dorothy, who really is forever young, to me represents what it means to be vibrant, full of life, childish and mature and caring at the same time. Seeking stretching along Red Riding Hood's second puberty, being a singular journey of youth repeated, subjectively pushing comfortable boundaries, tap that glorious glut, of which has pervaded global spaces, a universe that is the interior being. Summing it up in paint, 
switching from what is known to what is not, looking for self again. I stay forever young by thinking young and creating watercolor paintings. Whether it's the excitement and movement of a carnival roller coaster or a beautiful flower in a garden, I can find beauty in a watercolor painting. Now that I am retired, I can pursue my love of watercolor painting while maintaining a youthful attitude toward life. It's the blending of color and positioning of objects on the paper that send the message that I am painting and forever young. Silliness and fun. This painting inspired me by my own silliness, whether I'm walking in the park, playing pickleball, riding a bike, or parasailing in Lake George, which I did for the first time three years ago. I believe ageism is a social prejudice saying that people in their senior years are afraid to explore new things and challenges. You're as young as you feel. From an early age, riding a bike was a large part of my childhood independence and joy. Wind in my hair, pedaling furiously, hitting bumps, splashing through puddles, popping wheelies, and heading off to the candy store or the park. On Fire Island, where a bike is the main mode of transportation, I feel forever young. Visiting revives not only happy memories of my teenage years, but a certain nostalgia for a simpler way of life. Glorious vacation time on Block Island with a bicycle ride to the North End Lighthouse is why I think this solar print reflects my feeling of forever young. I saw a bunk room, an open barn door, and a bicycle leaning against a bed with two empty rocking chairs overlooking trees and the ocean. A place to stay, transportation, magnificent view, and making it into my art all helped me stay young at heart. <laughs> Aging brings many benefits, including serenity and contentment. However, as I recall my youth, one of the things I miss most is devil may care mayhem. <laughs> I miss the freedom of taking risks thinking only of what I might gain, not of what I could lose. I miss being confidently wild. <laughs> Today I try to confine wildness to art making. My growing picnic doesn't depict an actual event, but rather a mood that characterizes some of the hair-raising events I remember. Fantabulous is a celebration of life. It's vibrant colors and unusual forms, shapes, and configurations. And twists and turns are symbolic of my life's vicissitudes on the path of expansion with maturity, dealing with the complexities of life as I navigate time and its limits. I feel forever young when I'm in the process of creation. Street scene is my first attempt at electro etching using electricity to etch metal plates. It doesn't require the use of dangerous acids and toxic solvents that are used in conventional etching. Therefore, electro etching seemed perfect for my home print studio. Creating street scene represents my feeling forever young because I am teaching myself a new method of printmaking while looking forward to once again traveling to the places that inspire my artwork. Age is not just a number. It's the pride we feel about things accomplished and the warmth of love and loving. It's a longing for creating things of beauty that may be called a legacy. When the world paused, the hope to come up with better solutions for our collective survival kept us going. And by doing so, we all collectively said to the despair, not today. Whatever my age, I choose to be forever young. During the shutdown, I spent most of my time painting. This time has been my most prolific burst of creativity. My painting is based on looking out of my studio window in Manhattan and seeing my hometown crumble during the pandemic. I experimented with a new color palette, going from earth tones to bright colors with black and white. The blues, the greens, and the purples were colors that I had never been comfortable with before. Through these colors, I felt alive and ready to explore. A 
traditional Cretan village depicts the ancestral home of my husband's family in Crete, Greece. Travel gives me a different perspective on life. During a trip to Crete, I was able to explore many ancient villages on foot, some villages thousands of years old, such as in my painting. Now that I'm in my mid-50s, I can appreciate history and culture much more. Travel is my favorite way of staying forever young. Each summer as a child, I traveled to most of the U.S. national parks with my parents. Now in my retirement, I have been returning to those same places with my husband and children. Revisiting those same trails from years ago continue to bring me back to my childhood. I use the imagery from the beautiful landscapes of these national parks and the art that I create, and remembering our experiences there keeps me forever young. Bob Dylan perhaps said it best. I was so much older then, I'm younger than that now. As an artist, this means I find myself more willing to take risks when painting or drawing than ever before. I'm less afraid to fail and begin anew, more willing to simply play and experiment. Making art can be serious business, but above all, it's fun, and it keeps us forever young. Forever young is an attitude transforming and staying constantly in motion and in tune with our emotions. My curiosity, lots of laughter and joy in the world keep me forever young. I believe in magic. I play with color, shapes and images, making a little magic of my own. I use my own photographs, magazine cutouts and other materials reflecting my delight in the world. Here, the Kuan Ying appear on a shiny, big red fish, bringing us loads and loads of beautiful flowers, spreading joy and hope. For thousands of years, humans have used symbols to communicate complex ideas. I have often marveled at the beauty and simplicity of their designs. The shapes I use in my sculptures are the icons that represent the ideas that have influenced me and the world, such as Zen Circle, Triskel, Yin Yang, the Uma Luma, just to name a few. My sculptures are carved out of dense polystyrene foam. The shapes are then coated with powdered metals and treated with traditional acid patinas for color. Before the 1990s, I was infatuated with the early Italian Renaissance and created works with egg tempera as my medium. Since 1990 I've been using different materials and techniques to become more expressionistic. I am also interpreting the calligraphic nature of painting like the Chinese traditional painters did in a contemporary way and this long process of artistic creation keeps me forever young. Even though I have experienced many springs, I am still awed by the budding of trees, of the skunk cabbage quietly arising from the mud, of the shoots of the daffodils poking up from the earth, the turtles emerging from their hibernation, and so much more. Every year, spring feels brand new. For me, youth is a feeling of joy and wonder, of innocence, of looking at things as if it was the first time seeing them. Since I was a teenager, I have participated in many human rights and civil rights protests. I was at Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech in 1963. Then I was arrested in Washington, D.C. during the anti-Vietnam march in 1970. I thought I had put in my dues, but in 2017 I supported my wife and other women by joining New York City's Women's March and then the anti-gun rally March for Our Lives in 2018. Bottom line, political activism has kept me forever young. For the past few years, I have worn out several pairs of Nike sneakers, canvassing door to door for a number of political candidates. I belong to a local political grassroots group, and being retired, I have the time to participate and also enjoy in the camaraderie with these like-minded people. So I've laced up my Nikes, gathered election district lists, and knocked on many doors, and made many wonderful friends along the way. Mother's Day Central Park was made following my participation in one of the Granny Peace Brigade demonstrations. 
The grannies are an important element of the peace movement and a shining example of the importance of power older women can have. My work bears witness to this feisty group, which I have followed and painted since their formation in 2006, and all their energy and determination keeps me and them forever young. My daughter is usually by my side when I'm out with my camera, listening to her voice as she shares her daily experiences or concerns about social justice issues. I realize she is thoughtful and courageous. Her open-mindedness, optimism, and adventurous spirit on the embodiment of youth and being part of her life, I feel forever young. No matter what our race, religion, sexual orientation, size, or age, we all are born with the birthright to be happy and feel forever young. My colorful painting inscribed with the word possibilities in 20 languages honors our global tapestry of cultures, celebrates our shared experiences, and highlights the hope of life's possibilities. The painting symbols inspire us to lift one another as humankind and for me to claim my birthright to live joyfully forever young. A way to stay young forever is to spend much time with younger people and be open to their views. This image depicts examples of my ongoing series begun in 2005 of portraits of young people, all painted directly from life. I have developed friendships with my models through the many hours we spend together as they pose. This keeps me open to trends and ideas of younger generations, for as I paint my young models, I identify with them. I love working with the young people of today to keep me forever young. In the heat of the pandemic, an 11 months post-op for stage one breast cancer, I found myself jumping off a lifeguard stand at the beautiful Mineral Sports Club at Crystal Springs. The first time I had lifeguarded was pre-rescue tube. Needless to say, my lifeguard colleagues are the same age as my children and college students. Lifeguarding during lockdown helped me feel safe, secure, normal, and forever young. In youth, each day is an expectation that life holds joy and adventure. As one ages, expectations may lessen, but need not be extinguished. This painting expresses my belief that one should always continue to explore. The road invites you to step out boldly towards the unknown mountains. The sunlit scene is optimistic and joyful. This keeps me young. My art starts in the garden where I'm inspired by the flowers and enduring life surrounding me. Gardening is an act of optimism as I plan for the future, whether next season or next year. The garden also keeps me fit as I stretch dig and lift the plants, pots, and tools needed to create and maintain this three-dimensional assemblage. In my studio, I'm surrounded by the paintings the garden has inspired and will spread happiness into the future. In the making of this work, I have been able to experience the adventure that comes with the creative journey from blank white surface to the evolution of images that evoke a sense of beauty and serenity. It is precisely this sense of adventure and creative possibility that keeps me feeling forever young. Art, that is painting, has kept me young and hopeful. Painting almost every day during COVID has made my life bearable. It gives me something to look forward to. When my husband died suddenly, instead of holding my painting, which many widows I know do, I had to get an exhibit ready of 42 pictures, and I did not give in to my sorrow. Painting has given me a continuing lease on life. Glories of the Morning exemplifies forever young because the morning glory celebrates the start of each day, which regardless of one's age, is the same 24 hours and a new opportunity to learn, improve, 
contribute and create. I believe that maturity gives one a greater potential to use the day. The multiple glories represent the multiple lives that we can have, whether concurrent or consecutive, that not only complement each other, but form something new. In celebration of my pre-pandemic 70th birthday, I fulfilled a lifelong dream of a trip to the Galapagos with memories that will forever keep me young. Santa Cruz Island, rocky and uneven, was not an easy trek, but so spectacular. Not only did I feel youthful navigating this terrain, but also exhilarated and inspired to paint my impressions of the gorgeous reds and greens, variety of textures, and unusual flora of this magical fantasy type landscape. Marbles are incredible messengers of light, form, and reflection. Their uniqueness and ever-changing patterns wink for attention while locked in their spherical homes. They seem to mirror humanity. And so my idea to shoot a new marble series was born. Every evening as I set the stage for my shoot, these marvelous marbles would become spherical magic. Their animation illuminated my life and breathed air into my lungs with magnetic radiance a visual ballet that made me feel forever young. Fashion thrills me. Collections are the artistic expression of the day. The adage, everything old is new again, holds true as designers interpret each runway anew. As a 20-something on Madison Avenue, my style was Emily Blunt over Anne Hathaway in The Devil Wears Prada. Mademoiselle and Glamour revealed the look, and I relished knocking it off. Vogue, Bazaar, and Elsa Clinch became my mentors. Upcycling transports me, body, mind, and soul. Fashioning artware ensures I will remain forever young. Several features of this dyed silk scarf are associated with being forever young. The bright color scheme reflects the vibrancy of youth. Subtle images, such as spheres, represent the circle of life. Feathers suggest playfulness and frivolity. The random design is consistent with the freedom of youth. After all, art is ageless. In the stories remain, I use motifs that encompass childhood imagery, flowers, scribbles, sewing, etc. As an adult, I develop ideas that stem from personal narratives from when I was a young girl. These kinds of stories can stay with you and keep you young with their continued relevance. I also like to think that my work still shows I love what I do, and that passion keeps me forever young. I painted this woman I saw on the beach relaxing and looking out on the water as sailboats passed and disappeared. Meanwhile, a child played along the shore, splashing and having fun. Each were enjoying simple pleasures in their own way. Like the subjects of my painting, when I paint, I lose myself in the painting process. The best part of growing older is having more time to enjoy nature's beauty. It is very calming and helps keep me young. As a grandparent, I especially love to observe the spontaneous way children make up games and enter into fantasy worlds the uninhibited way they explore the natural world and interact with animals as equals. As an artist, whenever I try to capture a child's exuberance, like this little girl sharing her ice cream with a flock of seagulls, I get to share their exuberance and delight. It keeps me forever young. The innocence, wonder, and enthusiasm of children, particularly when they are your children, is a priceless feeling. Being able to capture that moment is very, very special. Today I have grandchildren who also enjoy the beach. I feel forever young since I painted my children from a photo, but they could easily be my grandchildren. The years get blurred and I feel forever young. To paraphrase Picasso, never lose the child in each of us. Making it personal, my children and now grandchildren make me feel forever young. When I'm in my creative bubble, time stands still. Hours go by and I have no sense that they have gone. I only know that a power is flowing through me, shaping the work and giving life to my ideas. I am lifted up and out of the everyday. Time is suspended. All extraneous thoughts are absent. 
nothing exists but the work. Maybe all the time I spend creating art really does freeze time, and that's why I don't feel my age. To be young is to see life as unlimited possibility. This painting multiplies that message with images of a fledgling dove, a creature that is just starting out in life, with the game board of life surrealistically nestled among the mountains, and with the distant vista of an unknown future stretching out as far as the eye can see. When we continue to see life as possibility, we are forever young. Creating this painting gave me the opportunity to tell a story. My paint tray and plant expressed two elements of my life. Titled Reflections, I realized a fresh way to observe my surroundings. As I continued painting, I became more involved with telling my story, adding a leaf when none existed, dropping the brushes as a counterpoint, and changing reality to my vision. I have the freedom to create my world with paint, as the youngster does with simple toys. I find excitement in exploring the relationships of form and color and hue. One shape or color just leads to another, and soon I am lost in the process. There is joy in visual discovery, and that excitement keeps me forever young. The small wood pieces in this sculpture create a pattern of memories of life's experiences and a visual array of life's simple pleasures. I was lucky enough to get into the High School of Music and Art in New York City where I was an art major in the 1950s. Forty-something years later, I went back to art, to sculpt, never having done 3D before. I began with figurative and portraiture, and ten years later moved to abstract, mixed-media sculpture. My work has given me goals to reach out for at this late stage of my life and kept me forever young. My painting titled Forever Young, is based on Henry David Thoreau's Walden, originally published in 1854. I resolve to live each season of my life as it passes and not just endure. I will breathe the air, I will drink the drink, I will taste the fruit. I resign myself to the influence of the earth and I resolve to be forever young. As years gather and age defines us, the twists and turns of life, along with the interactions and involvement with others who come in and out of our lives, strengthen and enrich the textures of our days and the values in our hearts. The accumulation of experience in living life keeps us young, vital, and uniquely beautiful. Experience and wisdom etched into the lines of our being. At age 56, I started painting again, and my world opened up. For me, Forever Young is about growing, staying relevant, curious, and connected. By exhibiting my art, I get to engage with people who value the ongoing power of art to transform. Expression is ageless, and collaboration has created links to new ideas, cultures, and opportunities. My Forever Young is a vibrant future where creating with an open mind leads to endless possibilities. I photographed this scene in Central Park and knew I had to capture it in a drawing. The woman seemed so timeless, time passing around her, yet she was one with her surroundings and present in the moment. It reminded me of how we should appreciate nature and feed from the beauty to fuel our souls. I get lost in my artwork and time around me passes so quickly while feeling rejuvenated and alive. In fact, drawing makes me feel forever young, capturing a sight a scene, and a moment of time. Sculpture Beyond frames nature in Riverfront Green Park in Peekskill, New York. It invites people to stop for a moment, look beyond, and actually experience the power and delicacy of the Hudson River, the shape and stature of Bear Mountain. When I witness this and know that my work brings joy and meaning to others, I feel young forever. This work was painted from a live model in one session, but with two different yet simultaneous perspectives. We see a woman as she tenderly touches a mirror. She sees her younger self gazing back in the reflection. 
can we ever fathom our own aging? During the past year, which I spent mostly indoors, I began to paint again. Painting was my entree to art as a 12-year-old when I studied with a well-known Spanish artist. I then moved on to other mediums, mostly collage. Now, I again tapped into my past skills. I was invigorated and excited every day to create atmospheric, abstract pieces. Coming full circle and yet new beginnings, I am continuing the journey. There is no end to the creative spirit, always renewing. My creation is that of articles which belong to a Union soldier medic during the American Civil War in 1860. The Union forces prevailed. Thus, we became one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all, under the leadership of Abraham Lincoln, our 12th President of the United States of America. I always feel forever young as an artist. Reading Buddies depicts my then 98-year-old mother reading to her 16-month-old great-grandson. Shared experience has a way of transcending age. It is also an opportunity to relive our lives, in this case as a mother and grandmother. We are forever young when nurturing and teaching. The White Cab Fish Market is one of my regular stops. It's old, weather-worn, and reflects a local color that is unique to the south shore of Long Island. After a bowl of New England clam chowder, I find myself excited about this fish shanty, and Johnny, a local character who mirrors the spirit of the place, sat for me. I was alive with pleasure to be painting exactly the right spot at the right time. One morning over coffee, a group of us planned a road trip to surprise a childhood friend with whom we all lost touch. The pandemic forced us to reconnect via Zoom, but the connection feels incomplete. Our love and faith in our friendship will bring us together again for a hug decades in the making. For now, I leave a cup out with my morning coffee reminding me every day of the loved ones that keep me forever young. Like the endless ocean, love is endless and infinite and keeps us young. Love of life, family, friends, art, nature, physical, spiritual, belonging, exploration. Love of laughter, hugs, a good meal, unconditional, pure, self, love. Love connects us. My interactive art explores infinite connections to others and to our innermost selves at any age. I celebrate my youth and wisdom at 66 with advice. Connect to love and you will stay forever young. Photography is a means of keeping a young feeling, especially in retirement. It tends to focus your outlook and perspective and give you something to do that you enjoy. Find that going out, especially in these times, and interacting with either the people, scenery, or situation keeps one feeling young, useful, and alive. It was a beautiful sunny day, and our local Chamber of Commerce was having their annual street fair. I painted this to capture the feeling of fun spending a day with other people enjoying their hot dogs, pizza, and ice cream. This is what it means to me about being forever young. A key to staying young is to keep moving, and my painting fits this theme. The city street bustles with older people while a young man is moving on with his belongings to an unknown destination. Staying young has many components, genes, environment, expectations, and tenacity. Doing what we love keeps us happy, involved, and relevant. That's what painting does for me and will keep me young forever. Upon returning to my studio after spending the pandemic year caring for my dying mother, I felt like a citizen of Pompeii. Everything was covered in dust and my creativity seemed frozen. In frustration, I slapped a piece of rice paper over the painting I'd had such high hopes for over a year ago, and then magically felt guided to tear and sculpt it as the glue took hold. Voila, something old was made new again, and so was I. I'm 92, work with a caner worker, 
and have meals on wheels. Who would have thought that at age 85, Facebook would come and connect me to Holly Gordon, and she would energize and inspire me to paint again, and we would write a book together. Now there's no stopping me. I'm even teaching a master class in watercolor with Islip Arts. With a paintbrush in hand, the years disappear and I'm forever young. The Garden Suite represents that artists are ageless. Artists get better through time and life experience. While society tends to cast older generations adrift, the art world respects and reveres its older artists. Through their long life, the older artists has amassed a genuine treasure chest of knowledge, which they are eager to pass on to the next generation. Our ability to create in our golden years stimulates our minds, allowing us to interact with all ages. Creativity remains timeless.